Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and today I am going to tell you the list of topics which needs to be covered before going to any interview. So why this is required is because suppose an interviewer calls you and asks you that tomorrow is your interview and you need to cover all the topics which are related to Java, Spring, Hibernate, these kind of things in just 24 hours. So there might be a scenario when you will leave certain topics and you don't press up those topics and you might cut a sorry figure in the interview. So to not to face these problems, I prepared a sheet and provided certain topics which needs to be covered for interview. So the topics which needs to be covered for the Java interview are exception handling. That is the type of exception which offers that is the runtime and compile time exception and how they differ from each other and you also need to cover certain exceptions like arithmetic exception, array index out of bound exception. These kind of top and the exceptions you know you need to know on your fingertips. So and one of the popular question is writing a custom exception by extending exception and runtime exception and when to use which exception you must know. And another important topic in Java interview is the collection. That is what is the difference between list versus array versus vector versus collections dot synchronized list. Another important question is hash map versus tree map versus link hash map versus collection concurrent hash map versus hash table. Now these two differ and like hash map and hash table has a difference of synchronization and null value and null keys. These common questions are there which you need to cover and creating custom hash map and custom linked hash map is also an important question. Use of hash set and its internal working how the buckets are created and the values are stored in the bucket using hash table is also an important question. Creating hash map with key as employee object overriding hash code and equals method and what is the relation between hash code and equals you need to cover. Collision in hash map is an also an important topic. So these are the things which need to be covered in the collections. Another topic is object class methods like overriding hash code and equals method which I just talked about in the collection. Contact between them and its importance of it. Comparator and comparable like what is the compare and compare to method which are there in the comparable and when when to use and what is the difference between them. Real time example of them and overriding finalize to string methods and its importance. So these are topics which are related to object class methods. And garbage collection is also an important topic like use of finalize key, how garbage collection takes place and internal working of garbage collections, life cycle of the object on heap and weak reference objects finalize key which I told earlier and it's important importance. So the, these are topics which are to object class method and garbage collection method collections. Strings is an also an important topic in interview. So the what is the importance of string and its immutability and its memory management that is thus heap memory and either is a string pool how they are managed. Use of string pool and difference between string, string buffer and string builder like synchronization also comes here and also every time a string is made one more object is created if it's not present there but in the terms of string builder and string buffer only concatenation and creation of the modification of the current object is take place. So use of immutable classes creating your own custom immutable class is also an important topic which you should uh, cover and write down on with pen and paper so that in, in if an interview tells you to write on paper you won't get confused. So auto boxing and unboxing is also there and next comes the multi threading part. So multi threading is an important topic if you are going for an interview with experience of around 2 years or more than 3 years. So you should know the life cycle of thread and how threads are executed by thread scheduler. Synchronization, volatile key, intrinsic lock and the intent locks are important topics of multi-threading. Use of wait, notify, notify all is also there. Join and sleep methods you should also prepare like sleep is used for wait. Join, wait for current thread to complete and notify is for notifying the threads. Producer consumer problem is also a tricky question uh, using two things like using wait and notify you should cover and using blocking queues you should cover. So like producer produces and consumer consumes and these takes place simultaneously. So these are the topics which related to multi-threading. In Java 8 functional programming are also there like lambda expression. You should know certain lambda expressions. You might tell the 
the interviewer like you don't know the uh, you have not used the lambda expression in your project but you know the lambda expressions that that will be an important throw for you to impress the interviewer beside this comes our spring part these were the topics which are related to uh, java and for for framework that is spring framework you need to cover the following topics that is this one dependency injection and inversion of control this is the basic question which is being asked by every interviewer for an spring question so and other topics which are related are scopes of bean singleton prototype and annotations you should know the annotations meaning and how they are used like path variable request param auto void model attribute request body response body and entity and the singleton prototype scopes which i earlier told is also an important thing then comes the cross cutting concerns related to aspect oriented programming so writing aspects and its importance you should know types of advice and what are the advices like before advice around advice and after advice you should cover importance of aspect is also an important question which an interviewer can ask so spring mvc is an important topic as if you have worked on model view controller part you should have worked on spring mvc if you are using spring so they will ask the internal working how the spring mvc works i have already made a tutorial regarding spring mvc that is spring mvc in 20 minutes so anyone who don't know the spring mvc will cover that that topic in just 20 minutes so list link list is also a link list stacks queue tree graph and arrays and matrix are the topics which are related to database so these won't be asked generally in java interview question but if an in interviewer is good in database he surely will ask one or two questions related to database database and data structures so the link list we have to cover certain questions like traversal merging of link list loop in link list finding in certain point link list cloning with, with random pointers double link list and its traversal and reversal then comes the stack and queue you with how you can make a stack using link list writing custom stack and queue creating stack from queue and vice versa designing lru caching using queue tree and graph you should know and the, some of the basic questions are that first traversal and that first traversal common ancestors problem in a tree binary tree is a binary search tree or not converting a sorted array to binary search tree converting binary search tree to minimum and maximum heap you should know the what is minimum heap and maximum heap okay so the next topic is array and matrix this is a one of the important question which are generally being asked like maximum continuous sum of in an array and iran problem like this is a problem which is given and you should know what are how many rectangular islands are there in the question uh, in the matrix question of matrix some dynamic programming questions such as rod cutting problem is also being asked and then comes the database part if you are a full stack developer you should know the database part also so what are the sql database query uh, things which are being asked are writing sql queries like simple queries like uh, matching two tables writing select query or writing the alias these are being asked and difference between them like difference between sql and no sql database if you are a no sql developer you should know what is the difference between sql and no sql and how they differ and what are the importance of both what is indexing how indexing works how indexing helps in reducing the response of time while querying use of join and writing join queries are also an important part so next comes the hibernate so hibernate has certain limited questions only like get versus load save versus persist configuration file what are different properties of the configuration file like dialect and the path and the what is the url or what is the path of the database how you will provide in the configuration file you should know second level caching how you you can use like eh cache is provided sometimes and many other tools are there which whose are is implemented and provided in the second level cache how to map and generally they ask many to many mapping you because many to many mapping generally differ from the other mappings xml based and annotation based configuration in hibernate you should know cascading in hibernate and types what are the cascading like cascade all cascade delete these things you should know what what are these and then comes the last part that is tomcat this is really being asked that what version you are using of for tomcat and which is the file which is being used to define the properties in tomcat like server.xml is there 
in which we define the different properties to in Ivan in Tomcat. So these are topics which are related to uh, to the Java interview questions, and you should cover these topics to get a good experience in Java interview and finally get selected. So thank you for watching.